Now, notice when I cinched up, even with this three quarter pad and the quarter inch top, I've got about an inch total, my saddle is slightly downhill. My rider weight will help push a little bit back into the pad here, but when I slide my hand here into the shoulder blade area, in order to get my hand in there, the skin rolls with it. That's where horses get pinches between the saddle tree and their shoulder blade. Now this is an awesome pad, but my horse is downhill and saddles and pads don't accommodate for that unless you make a change. I'm going to show you how I use a shim on a horse like this who's lacking a little muscle behind the shoulder blade to make my saddle pad fit better. Some people would just put a thicker pad on, but I don't need thickness the whole way. I only need the thickness right here just to lift my saddle up out of the shoulder blade. So we'll quickly add a shim, and I'll show you how to place a shim. A shim to me is just putting muscle where the horse doesn't have it yet. This is a pair of foam shims that we made to go on this horse. Uh, we'll apply Velcro to them when we're ready to apply to the saddle pad. So here's Queso's back. Right here in this space between the dots, between the back of the shoulder blade and the total range of motion, I need to beef that up. I want my tree to have this extra pad so the edge of the tree can sit up above the shoulder blade, not down on it or fall back in behind it. That will make every horse hollow their back, head comes up, it's very difficult to get collection that way. So there's the shape of my shim, just enough to taper up the back until I feel we're level from here to here. Now, a quality of the shim is really important to me. This is a foam and it has a lot of give and it compresses on the edges. So even though I'm gonna sandwich it between the layers of the CSI pad, it's not going to have a hard edge that the horse can feel. As, as I'm standing here, I can actually see the bubble that my horse's shoulder blade makes. And right here, if you run your hand down the shoulder blade, you'll hit a valley. That's where I place my shim, is just at the beginning of the valley. So here's the mountain, here's the valley. My shim cups the shoulder blade right here. Then there is Velcro placed here, and I simply close the top down, press on the Velcro, and seal that shim in. Now I do shims if the horse's shoulder blades are the same on both sides. I do shims on both sides. If the horse has an atrophied shoulder or an enlarged shoulder, then I do shims appropriately for that condition. But this horse is even, so I would put the shims on both sides. And then recheck my saddle fit. 